This lesson is on using the TVM Solver. The TVM Solver is an application that you would find on a Texas Instrument graphing calculator. In order to access it, you need to push the Apps button right here, this little purple button. Uh, it might say Finance if you have an older, older model. Um, we hit one for Finance and one for TVM Solver and we get this screen. So as we go through the questions, I'm going to explain what what each of these means and how you enter the values properly to get the correct answer. It should say end. It probably does. It should go there automatically. Find the future value or amount of 7,500 invested for nine years at 8% per annum compounded monthly. So you're, you are required to still figure out the N value. So nine years monthly is nine times 12. You can do it right on the screen and you would get 108. The interest rate, you just put it in as a percentage, so that's 8. Where you're going to adjust it, in other words, when you had to use a, an equation, you had to divide by 4 if it was quarterly, you're going to do that down here with this PY and CY. It's compounded monthly, so that means these need to be 12. If you put 12 in for PY, as soon as you scroll, the conversions per year also goes to 12. That's what you want. Okay, so I'm trying to find future value. That's where I am right now, but I need to know what the present value is. If you put money into the bank, it is negative. Now on your calculator, this is a negative sign here, not the subtracting one. You won't get the right answer. So I put in negative 7,500, and now I'm just going to scroll down to future value, and I do alpha, that's this green button, and down here, over the enter, see it's green, it says solve there. And it will solve your question for you. There you go. It's not fun. Okay, so we're going to do another one now. Now, you might want to spend two seconds clearing everything. Uh, you don't have to cl clear this. You just have to adjust it. So, just so it's a little easier to see and you don't make a mistake by leaving something in there that isn't part of your, your word problem. So Maeve would like to have, so that's a future value, right? So she wants to have a future value of $3,500 at the end of five years. Um, let's skip right down here, five years compounded quarterly. So that means my end's going to be 20. The interest rate is given as 9%. So put in a nine. How much should she deposit now into a savings account? So I'm trying to find the present value. Okay, so present value, and it's compounded quarterly, so I need to change this to four. So present value, alpha, enter. So 2242, 86. Okay, let's go back up and clear, read the next question. Celia deposits $1,500 at the end of each year. End of each year, right there. That means it's an annuity. So her payments, she's putting in $1,500 at the end of each year into a savings account that pays 4.5% interest. So I put in 4.5, compounded annually. That means I need ones here. What will be the balance in the account after five years? So five years annually, that means my N is going to be five as well. And I want to know the future value, alpha, enter. 8206. Mr. Bottolucci would like to have $150,000 in his savings account when he retires in 15 years. Okay, so future value, right? He wants to have this. So it's going to be positive because that's when he's going to get this money out of the bank. 150000 When he retires in 15 years, how much should he deposit at the end of each month? I'm looking for the R or the payment here in an account that pays 7% compounded monthly. So I want monthly here. That's 12 I'm trying to find that one. The interest rate is, Mr. Bartolucci is 7%, and the end value is 180. OK, 
Okay, so that was 15 years times 12. You could have done it there as well. And you're trying to find the payment, alpha, enter. So he should put in 473 and you make a nice concluding statement. Okay, the Northern Lights High School wishes to establish a scholarship fund. The $500 scholarship will be awarded at the end of each year. It's the end of each year. That's a payment. So they're going to make a payment of $500. So it's money coming out. So it should be positive. And they want to know how much should they put in the money now in order to take out this amount of money. So it's eight years. So my N is eight. The interest rate is 9%. I'm trying to find the present value and it's one and one. So the payment was 500. I scroll the present value. See how it's flashing there? And I do alpha enter. So they need 276741. Okay. Monica buys a snowboard for $150 down and pays $35 at the end of each month. So her payment is going to be negative, right? She's putting money, she has to pay it. It's money out of her pocket. At the end of each month for one and a half years. So one and a half years and it's going to be uh, compounded monthly. So let's go down here and make 12s. And my N value, one and a half years. So 12 times 1.5, that's a year and a half is 18 months. Her interest rate is 16% very high and we've got everything else in here right so we want to know find the selling price so today's price on that board alpha enter $556 plus now don't forget you would have to still add in the $150 down so you'd have to add $150 to that to get $706.82 okay moving on this is lots of work. Okay, number seven. Guy purchases a $10,000 GIC that earns 5% per annum. Let's put the five in right away. Um, he purchases it and he's going to put it in the bank right now. So purchases $10,000. That's the present value of it. He's putting it in the bank. I'm going to make that negative. And it's going to sit there for eight years and it's compounded annually so that means eight the interest rate was five percent okay we've got that we just have to go down here and change this to one and the question is what will the GIC be worth in seven in eight years so I'm going to do alpha enter for future value so it'll be worth 14774 Okay, Guy, what amount would you have to invest today? Let's slide this up a bit. What amount would you have to invest today at 6% per annum, compounded semi-annually, so that the investment will be worth $8,000 after four years? Okay, so the first thing I want to know is what is my end value? Four years. So four years semi-annually, that's eight again, four times two. Didn't have to change that one. The interest rate is 6%. Semi-annually means twice a year. Change your conversion period. Um, this one we didn't have, this one we didn't have. Okay, so um, you want to have 8,000 in four years. So that's my future value, 8,000. And I want to know what amount would I have to invest today so I want the present value so you need six thousand three hundred fifteen dollars and twenty seven cents okay I think it's a good idea to clear these right except for these ones you can adjust that anyway okay so that was for ten years seven hundred and fifty dollars is deposited at the end of every three months okay so that's a payment seven hundred and fifty dollars every three months that's quarterly don't say three it's quarterly three times every three months is four times a year we're trying to find future value that's good we've got the payment 
PV is unimportant in this question. And we have an interest rate of 8%. And quarterly for how many years? 10 years. So my N is going to be 40. And I want to know what is the future value. There you go. Number 10, Gertrude would like to have $3,800 at the end of four years to go to college. So she wants to have, that's a future value, right? She wants to have $3,800 at the end of four years compounded quarterly. Four times four gives me 16. The I value is 3.5 compounded quarterly. We've already got that in here. And how much should she deposit now? 330557. Number 11. Gertrude, no, sorry, Trudy is planning for a retirement from her job as a chemist. When she retires, she would like to receive $300 at the end of each month. So that's a payment, right? She wants to receive $300. That's into her pocket. Um, for 15 years from a retirement, 5%. It's got the interest rate in here. 15 years monthly. So we need 15 times 12. Gives us 180. The interest rate is 5%. And how much would she need to establish? So it's what's the present value of that? Uh, did we adjust the R? No, it was monthly. So we should go down here and do 12. So then go back up to present value. Alpha enter. So 37,936. And finally, Ramona has 53,380 in her savings account. 53,380 in a savings account. So that's a present value, right? 53,380 in her savings account. She wants to withdraw $240. That's her payment at the end of every three months. So that's quarterly. The interest rate is 5%. Quarterly for three years, that means this needs to be 12. So we've got five, this is right, that's right, and quarterly, so we need four. And we want to know the future value. Alpha, enter. Okay, so that's how you work the graphing calculator. Hopefully that was helpful to you. Um, I want to thank you for watching all my videos. Maybe you didn't make it to the end of these ones, but if you want me to do this for you for advanced functions next year, I'd really appreciate if you'd send me a little note, maybe as a comment on one of the videos that you really liked or one that you thought, thought was really helpful to you. Hope you do really well on your exam. All the best. Signing off, Ms. Havrot. Bye.